everyone, it's Michelle Lupton here for Paper Rose Studio and today I'm going to show you how I made this mandala card um, with a rainbow of watercolour powders. So I'm starting with some watercolour cardstock. This is Canson watercolour paper and I am using the uh, beautiful mandala clear stamp from Paper Rose which is a gorgeous detailed stamp and I'm just lining it up with the edge of the cardstock um, which really didn't matter that much because later on I'm going to cut it down just a teeny tiny bit and I'm making sure to prep my cardstock with some um, embossing powder, some anti-static powder tool, because what I'm going to do is stamp with Versamark and then I'm going to heat emboss onto this image. So I don't want any of the embossing powder to stick uh, where I don't want it to. And it's quite often actually sticks where you've left fingerprints on the cardstock. So I'm actually stamping it twice because I'm using watercolour uh, paper. And this watercolour paper from Kenson has a little bit of texture to it. Not a heap, but a little bit. So I wanted to make sure that I got that um, clear sticky ink into all the nooks and crevices on that cardstock. Now I'm actually using some gold embossing powder today which is uh, against my usual style. I very often use white embossing powder but I thought I'd try something different today. Um, this embossing powder is from Hero Arts and here I am heating it up with my heat tool to make sure it is all melted and you can see that I've now got a lovely shiny mandala image with this gold embossing. Now the powders that I'm using today are from Nuance and they are very intensely pigmented powders. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my spray bottle here. This is a distress sprayer and I'm just wetting the cardstock a little bit to start with and then I'm just tapping on teeniest tiniest bit of powders and I usually just tap these over randomly but I decided I wanted to try for a rainbow look today around the edge of this mandala so I'm being I'm trying to be very careful and keeping the powders in one particular area now that's one of the reasons why I sprayed it with water first because you can actually just uh, sprinkle these powders onto dry cardstock and then spray with water. But I have actually found that when you do that, you're more likely to get the powders uh, scattering onto your cardstock when you spray with the water. And by spraying the cardstock with water first, it sort of traps the powders just a little bit and they move a little bit less um, when you spray over it. Um, now you can see what I'm doing now, I'm using just a baby wipe and I'm trying to remove some of the very, very intense color. So quite often with these powders, you do get like a little granule of the pigment powder that is really, really intense. And uh, some people like that look, that's perfectly fine, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more even in colour and I wanted to get rid of those very, very intense um, bits. Now I've dried it um, mostly now and I'm just going over to get rid of a little bit more of the colour. I thought the red and the green were just a little bit too intense for my liking. And then I decided that the gold um, embossing powder wasn't enough shine for me, so I'm spraying this panel with some Perfect Pearls powder mixed with water. I've just got that in a Perfect Pearls Mists um, spray bottle, which I really need to replace because the plunger on it is broken. Um, so every time I spray it, I have to pull the plunger back up again to be able to spray it again. All right, so I decided with this panel that I wanted it to have a really, really narrow black mat um, around it. So I'm just taking off uh, a very small little smidgen off e um, each edge and I'm making sure it's as uh, flat as I could possibly get it. Uh, before um, matting it onto some black cardstock. And you can see I'm just 
figuring out how much of that black I want on there and not very much at all was the answer. Just a teeny tiny um, thin layer around the edge. So I'm adding some uh, tape runner to the back of my watercolour panel and because the watercolour panel did uh, warp a fair bit um, by all the addition of that uh, water being sprayed onto it, I made sure that I used plenty of adhesive to hold it nice and flat against that mat. So now that I've done that, I can then just add adhesive to the back of that and add that to my white card base. So this is a um, top folding white card base. It's Nina Solar White. And I always use 110 pound weight on my card bases, especially because a lot of my card bases I have is top folding. And if you have a lighter weight card as your card base, it's very hard to get them to stand up. So um, heavier weight is good. All right, so for the sentiment, I'm using this Hello Chunky double layered um, die, which is really cool because I can actually put two mats underneath the Hello. I decided to cut the Hello out of some gold mirror cardstock, and I'm just cutting the um, one layer from white and one layer from black for the mats. So I'm just popping out little um, bits in between these and I'm layering it up to see what it looks like. So um, I actually changed my mind. This one I'd actually put the gold onto the black onto white and I decided I wasn't that keen on that look so I cut it again the other way around so that I had gold on white on black and I much preferred this look so that's what I went with um, at, in the end. So I'm just going to add some liquid adhesive to the back of the gold hello and add that to the white then same with the white to add it to the black and then add, adding some adhesive to the back of the black mat and adding it to my card front and then I will be pretty much done. Now you'll see me add it and I'm always... Um, scared that I haven't got it on straight. So I'm actually going to get out my ruler once I actually get this sentiment onto the card base. And I did actually play around with putting another stamped sentiment underneath it, but I thought that that was enough. Um, and I decided I was done. All right, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of a close-up view so you can see the shimmer and the shine and all that lovely colour. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>